we were shocked when we tallied our numbers. Barely a thousand of us survived the battle in the valley. Most of the dead likely perished in the villages burned by our foes, helpless and frightened. Alas, they met one of the most painful deaths one could ever imagine. When I thought about what forced us from our ancient home, the one place we had lived in safety on this war-torn and barren world, I felt my stomach clench in terror. Anlinde was a wise sorceress, but I regretted not being strong enough to ignore her counsel. I could not help but think that had we stayed, we could have fought back and somehow emerged victorious. Alright, welcome back everyone. This is Scenario 3, Memories from the Depths. And we are going to continue where we left off the story so far. Galas and his troops have been forced out of the valley, leading Ledinor, leaving Ledinor behind to look after the retreat. Probably a hopeless task for him, but Galas and Linde and their troops are fleeing into the depths, and this is where we pick up today. I but hoped that fleeing into the depths was a wise decision, and that Ledinor's efforts were not wasted. We lost our home, many of our children and elders, and our lord, at the hands of those fiends. What will we do now? Where will we go? Don't despair, Galas. This is not the first time our civilization has been through trials like this. Invaders may defile our lands, the suns may burn our forests to the ground, but as long as we stand, we may yet be able to find a new place to call our home. I profoundly hope so. And Lindy, you mentioned something about an evil force before counselling flight. What did you mean? There is some great evil aiding those humans. Not merely ordinary necromancers and war beasts, but something worse. Something I believed had been vanquished by our civilization before. I need to ponder this further. Now, I suggest we proceed as swiftly as we may. Our valley... I would prefer to not think about it. Would that we had more experience at moving in this darkness. This will be a long march. Okay, and this is probably going to be a long scenario. It looks like 57 turns. Explore the caves with units that are not very well suited to caves. So, yeah, let's see how we get on. Probably not a good idea to recruit too many units, or they'll all just get clogged up behind walls. That's my experience with cave scenarios. Uh, looks like we've got some mushroom dudes around. Um, don't know if they're going to be hostile, but uh, <laughs> probably best attack first and ask questions later. Okay, so... Fungoid. Yeah, they're level zero. They're not too tough, but... Um, if I allow them to team up on any of my troops, this will get painful. Okay, so I think the first order of business is to recruit some more troops, and ideally people who will be able to move relatively fast through the caves. Um, so I'll need people who can hold choke points as well, so I'll need a few fighters, and then I think also some hunters and some archers, though the archers do tend to get hit quite a lot in the caves. Regardless, I've got a fair amount of money, so let's take a few troops and see. Oh, 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 there's a bat over there. Oh, I don't like them. Oh, no. Okay. Gotta be careful. Start out with hunters. Archers. And a shaman. Just one. You go over there and take out that fungoid. We'll mostly take out that fungoid. Um, you go over here and take out this one word. Ooh, they're very, very resistant to piercing damage. That's annoying. Um, is this wise? Do I want to throw away one of my toughest units like that? Probably not. I'm going to send him over here instead. And he's going to attack this fungoid. 
There we go. Okay, and now some more level 1 units. Another fighter here at the back, and yeah, two fighters. And I'm going to leave Gallus where he is this turn. I'm going to wait for these bats to come to me. Oh, so annoying and unnecessary. Alright, let's clean up these this fungal mess we have over here. And Lindy, you... some damage to this bat and then you Lemael can actually come around here finish it off from the other side we've got another bat and the since the archers are rubbish against uh, rubbish against the fungus probably best use them to try and take out the bats Oh, miss with all four attacks, that works too. Okay, you go over here and shoot the bat. Oh, come on! Alright, now... Fighter... You come and have a crack at the fungoid. And other fighter... Um, it was strong and quick, that's a nice combination. You try and take this one out. You can now heal both of them and slow this one. You go around here and. Um, oh dear, okay. Slow it, doesn't matter if it doesn't die. Or maybe, maybe that archer will die. Probably not. Look on the bright side. Okay, now we need, I think, some tougher units. Once, f yeah. Who can I recall here? The riders are going to be rubbish because they're underground. Um, I think ideally some quite tough units. Um, this quick and dexterous hero is probably going to be a handy one to have, and maybe maybe these two, Quosor and Kalelalel. You can go and get that house. Where's Quosor gone? Um, there he is. I recruited Quosor, sorry. And I need a druid. Um, I think I've got two. Um, Oh no, just one. Okay, so Limerea, you can come out. Sure, I had another druid. Oh yeah, there it is. Sothenia, who is resilient. Resilient is a very handy thing for druids to be. Ah, okay. Um, undo that. And... Yeah, bring out Sothenia who also is good at levelling up. Not got much money left. I can have a few more recruits, a few more recalls. I still think you know, at the moment recruiting is the wise thing to do rather than recalling too many expensive troops. Maybe, since the scenario is so long, it might actually not be a bad idea to have some of these civilians around. But first of all, do I want to recall anyone else. I want to have at least one marksman out there, I think. This marksman's quite high at leveling up. And yeah, marksman and trapper. That would leave me with 26 gold. I'll do that. It's quite a lot of recalling for level 1, but uh, for, well, for an early scenario. Now I can have another hunter and I can have a civilian. And now I'm going to be hemorrhaging gold like no one's business, but hopefully we'll find some uh, some villages and be able to stem the flow. Yes. Get in. Stop.
Stop it. You go there, do some healing. You come up here, kill the bats. Everyone else. Advance. There's going to be trolls down here, aren't they? I, think, I don't actually remember this scenario, but <laughs> I'm pretty damn sure there are going to be trolls. There are always trolls in underground scenarios. Okay, so the path is going to be a limiting factor here. Everyone wants to be on it. Wherever you go, the druid ought to be one step ahead. And then let's send in Quosor. Kalelel, you go there. You come up here. You go up there. Doop -de -doop -de -doop -de -doop -de -doop. And here we are. Ah, oh, you're speedy. Ah, oh, yeah, movement seven. Movement seven's going to be handy down here. That time. All right. See if Callus can take him out with a bow. Get lucky. Nah, I didn't get lucky. No one ever gets lucky like that. All right, Druid. You move up with the druid, you move up with the druid, you move up. Ooh. Uh, oh, it's another fungus. Okay, I can deal with that. You move out in front, you move all the way out in front, and then the rest of you just move up along and around. For the moment, it doesn't look like we're going to get mashed to a pulp by anyone, so... Who's quick? Who's really quick? Who's got movement 7? It's counterintuitively, you probably want to have the faster units towards the front, because otherwise they just get blocked by the slower units and everyone ends up moving at the same pace. is going to be the slowest of the slow, I think, in this configuration. Um, yeah, she can only move five, so she'll be keeping up the rear. Hopefully we don't get attacked by trolls in the rear. Or Is this one of those scenarios where enemies appear from the rear? It might be. Okay, we're a tenth of the way through the mission already. Five turns, well, nearly one twelfth of the way through the mission already. Who can get in there on the fungus? The fungus didn't move. That's interesting. All right, you slow it down. Slow it down. Nice. Okay, and now someone else like you or you can come in and yeah, took too much damage there for my liking, but hey ho. Don't want to move too fast down here, else we'll get ahead of ourselves, and uh, all the enemies will come out and attack us. Especially those bats, they're so fast. I've recruited too many units, haven't I? Yep, I've definitely recruited too many units. That's annoying. Civilian, you're quick. That's nice. Ah, see what I mean about units coming out of nowhere. You double around. Yes, okay, you're almost at level three, which means you'll cost even more money. You come to the house and attack the fungus, and then the rest of you, 
You two are a bit weakened. Don't want to advance too fast down here. The music is really pretty incredible for a free game. Or for any game. I think the more annoying soundtrack aspects have been removed. No action. Okay. You go in and slow. Oh, it's skeleton. Undead! There are undead here! They must have settled in here only recently, or they would surely have announced their presence in our valley before. If we press forward, we may be able to find and strike their master down. Not that we have much of a choice now, with everyone trapped underground. Alright, new task. Find the source of the roaming undead. Now note that it doesn't say to kill, and I think that means that to... Uh, one of the fan favourite characters is about to make their appearance. Oh, these fungoids are so resistant to ranged attacks, to piercing, it's so annoying. Okay, and if how far can this skeleton move? Up to the fungus. In that case, you just go and slow and everyone else form up behind. <laughs> Unless I want someone to tank some damage, but I don't actually think that I do at this point, so... Okay, you go there. You move up behind. You go there. You go there. And you want to come up behind the druid and get healed. I think everyone's on full health again now. Finances are not looking too hot. Oh, Vemir, you stay behind, stay safe, stay costing no money. Random bat out of nowhere once again. Good that you had some healing behind you. Okay. Now, can you dash forward? No, you can't. You're not fast enough for that. Um, all right, get, let's get the big guns out. Ineffectual big guns. Um, you hopefully can deal with the final blow. And there we have an Avenger. What a beautiful unit you are. You run up here and get this. Oh, there's a... Is that an undead leader? No, it's not. It's just a zombie who's sitting in a leader's, <laughs> leader's keep. Um, okay, so now I just need to move these guys up into a position where... They've got a healer behind them each. No. She's faster, isn't she? That's what's going on. Okay, so you can go there. And. Uh, no, I can't quite. Okay, so Kalelel, if he takes some damage, he'll take some damage. You go around, get ready to grab that village. You come out here behind. You come out here behind. We've got zombies, we've got skeletons, we've got fun for the whole family. Of course, you go for him. 
At least there's no bats around. Okay, now, if I can get Anne Linde up, she's going to be extra good at dealing with these skeletons, but you know who else is good at dealing with skeletons? Impact damage. Very little impact damage in an elven army. Basically, it's these guys and um, Shaman hitting with their little sticks. Uh, so, use it where it exists. You push forward. I'm not too scared of these zombies. Um, that's just a level zero zombie, and this one, okay, it's fine, it's level one, but still not a huge threat, I think. You, hmm, you were going to go down there and get that. You just take a step back, because I don't want you to die. So now... Feel the might of the arcane. Okay, and now Galas, you run in here and do some shooting damage. Lovely, lovely sound. Okay, and you can get some slow in on this guy. That's not a happy zombie. Okay, everyone else form up behind. You can get that village. Okay, now we're on a level pegging as far as the economy is concerned, and we can spend the rest of the scenario trying to catch up from where we were. Um, okay, you're as hard as nails now, so you just keep going. You can keep going too. You are fast, so keep going. La 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 la. Everyone move up. Everyone move up. And Vemir, bring up the rear. Oh, come on! Well, there goes, there goes a hunter. These guys, these guys, dread bats, level two, draining bats that can fly an immense distance. They are one of my least favorite units in the game. So, okay. <sighs> Calm, calm, George. How are we going to deal with this situation? I want to get my good snipey units around to do some good sniping. You... Ah, you need to get the hits. Ideally, I want to get you in there, but you're not fast enough. So, yeah, it's going to be you. Not fantastic. Okay. You can come up here, you can get around there. So you, uh, I don't want you to die, but I can, I can bring other units up in front. Oh, little flashing animation over here. That is gonna be important, I reckon. And now Gallus, you're actually a bit too slow, and that's because this guy's still alive, so. be able to do much about that, am I? Okay, you go there. Deal a fair bit of damage so that someone else can get the finishing strike. Hopefully Anne Linde, I think we can need to get her level. So that means that Gallus isn't really going to do anything this turn, but that's okay. Or not. You're fast enough to get in there, so you're fast enough to get around there. Alright, so I think this is the best bet. <laughs> yes, no damage. Ah, oh, but Batty McBatface is still out there. Hmm. Okay. Nice. Right. No, oh, no, you can't reach the bat. None of you can now reach that bat. I'm going to have to place my units very carefully now so that no one gets killed. At least these guys are not skirmishers, because if they were, I would be absolutely <laughs> going nuts. <laughs> you go and stand next to the druids. You wish you could go a bit further. Um, but you... 
if you go there, you're going to get attacked by the bat, aren't you? Need to make sure that doesn't happen. So you go there. You go there. The bat can't now move to there. The bat has, a, has an option of attacking fighter, fighter, avenger, hero, or hunter. That, I think, is not unreasonable. You move up. You move up. You move up. And you move up. Oh, and you! Almost forgot about you. You move up to. You move up to. Oh! 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 Okay, now. Can you get there? No, you can't. Can anyone get there? Can anyone useful get there? You can get there, okay, with your two attacks for three damage. Um, you can... Ah, all right. Um, so I think the play will be... Run you away. Bring you back round here. Whew. All right. Crisis averted. Now... Everyone else can move up. You're quite fast anyway, so we don't need to worry about you falling too far behind. And um, move up with Galas and some heroes. Can anyone reach? Yeah, you can reach that. Let's go and have a look what's inside. Touch plate triggered. A wall moves. But when there's a ring at the end of there... Let's go and figure out what it is, and then maybe give it to... Probably give it to Gallus. go too nuts with moving people too far, again because of the issue of these potential bats that can come crawling out of the woodwork. No bats, alright that's good. You go there, see what we've got. A gold ring, and there is an inscription on it. You who take this ring will be swifter and more graceful, no matter what weight you carry on your back. This will be useful here since we are not very used to moving in these rough dark caves. Sorry, I should have read that in a voice that wasn't my own. Well, okay, Orifebrast just happens to have my voice. Do you want this unit to pick up this item? No. Go back. Galas. Ah, oh, you can't quite get there. <laughs> Would it be nice if you had one more movement? Oh. Okay, and everyone else can then press on. These are choke points, we can block them up with some tanky units. Get in, I, um... Our old druid to keep things healed up. breaking my own advice by bringing Anne Linde too far forward, but she's so useful to clear out blockages. Alright, and our two stragglers. Um, you can just hop from house to house for now. Again, who knows if something is going to come in behind us. Probably not. Oh, we're getting three gold per turn. Okay, well, that means that in... Let's do the math on this. On, in 15 turns, we will be uh, back up to zero gold. <coughs> Ghosts, lovely. Okay, this is where Anne Linda comes into her own. Yep, Corsor, you can move forward. Ooh, there's a 
stabby stabby ghoul thing with poison blades. Okay, it's not fast enough to, to reach us yet. I'm gonna take this with the possibly even the druid? No, not wise. Okay, the marksman can take it. Alright, in the meantime, Gallus, you get the ring. A gold ring. We've had this. Yes. Alright, now you've got movement seven. That's gonna be very handy later in the in the campaign, I think. You wanna push on a little bit down here? That's light, that's nice. Doesn't make any difference to you, does it? Oh, there's a bat. There's a bat. Okay, don't stand in the in the 30%. Stand in the 40% where there's light, and we'll get a shaman to come up behind you. And then you go up to there. And everyone else just uh, shuffle up behind. You've basically caught up. Um, you don't have another house to hop to, but you're almost at full health now, so it's all good. Oh, you can fly around! That's a sneaky, sneaky move. Okay, how are we going to deal with this then? You go here, slow down the ghoul. Bah! You hop up here, you will get 60% on 4, you will get 70% on 3, but you're not going to do as much damage. These guys are quite resistant to you. So, lovely. Okay, now can you... You're going to get poisoned if you do that. I don't really want you to get poisoned. Um, the ghoul is not slowed. I'm going to slow the ghoul with my other trooper. Okay, now at least it won't do as much damage, and I can bring this guy. This guy's irritating. Okay, you step, you go there, you step back. Can you? Yeah, that's more like it. That's that's why we keep that's why we keep Anne Linde around. Okay, now it's tempting to uh, run out here with my with my shaman and uh, deal a little bit of uh, slowing damage to this one. Um, I don't know what else is around here, so it might not be the wisest of ideas. But only she's the only one who can... Her and this fighter are the only one who can get there. So yeah, go on. Doesn't matter if she dies. I can recruit more. Ooh, yes, okay, there are more troopers down here. All right, she's probably gonna die next round. Sigh. Okay, but you come down here, you go there, you go up to there so you get the full benefit of the healing. Galas, you can come down and try and deal with this messy situation in the southern corridor. You can also get in to get some healing, you'll be up to full. And this guy. And then... We will stay where we are. This turn is going to hurt a little bit. Rip. Alright, what's the play here? If you run forward, you're just going to get be toast like the rest of these guys. Um, if you run forward, you might be toast, even. I'm not even sure a level 3 unit can hold off this onslaught. Um, but yeah, okay, you can take that out, and then someone else can come up behind and take out the bat. And then I think... Then I think we might be okay. Great. You come back. You... Oh, shit. Um, glad that that worked. The undo key doesn't always uh, work wonders in this situation. Can you reach? No, you can't. Um, uh, of my archers, only you can. I should have brought someone with leadership. Why didn't I get anyone with leadership? 
Okay, so, yeah, all right, you're the best bat. You have to hit with all three attacks, but you can do it. I believe in you, Anlinde. Yes! Okay, I am invincible. Now, you're a skirmisher. That's handy. So you can go all the way around the back and slow this ghoul again. And then we can get the kill with... No, we could even get it with... Galas, who's going to level up soon. That might not be a bad idea, because he's loyal. He doesn't cost me experience. Cost me gold. <laughs> Alright. Um, you're poisoned, but otherwise, you're doing good. So. You run forward, we've got another archer. If you go there, and you go there, then you're going to be okay. Our other shaman's been killed, so we've only got one healer. Why did I think that was a good idea? Why? You're far enough away that you can't reach up there, so you can go there safely. Uh, you, actually, probably the best bet is for you to stay where you are, because you'll heal your remaining hit points if you do that. You come back down here. Um, you go up there, you go up there. This narrow passageway is annoying. You go there, and you can go around, around the long way, or the short way. We don't know where we're going, so it doesn't make much difference. <coughs> Alright, Skeleton trying to make sushi out of my Avenger, did not succeed in doing so. Uh, you can go there. And now you can come in and see if you can take out. Yeah, okay. Now you're close to a level as well. So hopefully we'll have, very soon, we'll have two level three hero units. Now someone else can do the take the lead on the exploring. Now you can almost reach there. And there's another wall that one can knock down. Uh, put two guys there, and then the skeleton, if it tries to shoot, will be in the light. Gallus. You take point. Um, a bit concerned by the fact that there's more stuff up there. Um, you can't see any further than Gallus, because Gallus is fast now. You come down here, and then you get behind. Uh, you need health. Seems there's some sort of background rumble in this area. I think this is a sound effect and not just my ears playing tricks on me. Could be either. Alright, you need to get thee to a healer, because Anlinde can cure, but she otherwise cannot heal. Alright, and you can move on next turn. Alright, no foul. that. That's a skeleton. Um, sigh. Well, no one here can move that fast. Um, if you move up to... Oh no, you can't go there. And if you go there, you'll get attacked by the skeleton. I don't want that to happen. So, you hop forward onto there. Um... Do you want to get attacked by the skeleton? No, you really don't, do you? You go there, you go there. You stay where you are, get a couple of hit points. Not in any rush. And then over here... I need to do some more exploration to the north. There's a bat. Ah! Nasty, pecky bats. And they can get in down there on my troops. Okay, you go on to there. You'll be at least a bit defended. 
and then that is actually I thought that was a hole in the ground but it's actually a, a tower structure <laughs> that's annoying <laughs> I think, yeah, the best bet is just to slowly wear away. And then next turn, hopefully, Galas will not die, we'll get the kill, and we'll level. That we can always dream. If you stand there, the bat could go for you, but that's not the worst thing in the world, is it? You come up here, and you... Ah, oh, no, that will make you bat-proof. Oh, no, that won't. There we go. do that? Yes, I can. Alright, now you, if you kill the bat, that won't get you the level quite. Um, and there is a skeleton coming up in the background, but I can move other people past you. Anyway, you probably won't kill the bat, will you, because you're attacking rubbish against bats? Really rubbish against bats, yes. You can try and kill the bat, that's probably the your best bet. And again, um, underwhelming, one might say. You're, you could you could rush around and do something else. Do we want you to? Um, we need someone to. If you go there, hmm, probably the best bet is to. Try and use you to kill the bat. That succeeds. So that means that if you go up to here, um, and assuming that Galas now manages to take out, or someone now manages to take out the skeleton archer, there we go. Champion Galas has reached level three. So now someone else can come down here and to assist in. Um, you just rush forward, and then you can get to there. If you go there, all the skeleton can do is stand on the path. Ah, uh, you can't quite, you can't quite reach. But I think I should bring you up anyway, because then you can stand next to the druid in future. Uh, are there going to be more bats? Ooh, more houses though. Houses are always nice. Okay, we're moving into some sort of watery area. There is some sort of background sound effect, isn't there? I think I can hear water dropping. The marksman, no! <laughs> okay, bats. I don't have my bat A team down here, so. too bad. I um, just hope there aren't too many more bats back here. And then you... Ooh, ooh, can, um, yeah, let them here. You have, you have a go at getting the kill with your <laughs> pathetic bow. Nope. That's a big nope. 
you. Uh, that was rubbish. Can Gallus just go and whack this one? No, he's going to take damage. You can do the slow thing. That might be the best bet. And then even if you take damage too. Hmm. Well, first things first. And then you move a little bit further forwards. This adventure is not as full of tomato surprises as some of the others. Um, sometimes there are adventures where when you get to a certain point, a bunch of monsters suddenly spawn, and you had no way of knowing they were going to do that, and you have no way of preventing your units from dying because they've appeared out of nowhere, and it's really annoying. Uh, that's what <laughs> sometimes called tomato surprise by the level designers. Um, this level, this campaign doesn't have too much of that. It's, it's quite a nice, friendly campaign. You, go and open that door. Oh, all moves. Oh, zombies, lovely. But there's holy water, okay. Galas can go in there and get the holy water, I think. Because he can also fight the zombies pretty well. But now I need someone to take out this stupid skeleton down here. It won't be you, will it? No, definitely won't be you. You! Okay, well now it's very much weakened. And I'll probably attack the druid and do some damage, which is annoying. But she can always find a house. You go up there. You go here. And now everyone is in the healing range. You can move further. Don't know why I didn't move you. Why doesn't it show you on the minimap? Probably because you're on a house, that's why. Trixie, Trixie. Okay. More bats. Galas, you run in here. Doesn't matter who attacks you, these guys will get turned to a gooey paste as soon as they try anything. So you can just stand here and slow this one. And they're not happy about it. Alright, hopefully now it will be a kill for Anlinde. Alright, and Anlinde 2 is at level 3. And she has another level. So she can go to level 4 and become even scarier. Okay, now what I need to do is deal with this bat. Think again the old slow. And I can see another zombie there in the distance. That was good. You can reach. That's, that's nice. Maybe you. Uh, you have to go into the deep water to go there. don't want you to go into the deep water. You just go there, and then that zombie will come and uh, hopefully just suicide on you. Now, can you kill this bat? Probably not. Can you kill this bat? Probably. And then no one will be able to reach you, unless there are more bats hidden in the background. There we go, and you're nearly level 3 now. That is very nice. Okay, you go get the health. You come out here, just in case there are more bats. And actually, mm -hmm, no, that's not great, but never mind. Can you go there? I think you can't. You come down here. And everyone else push forward. Except you, because I want you to go and pick up the holy water. All right. 
it looking good. reach the holy water yet so you oh you can go and grab that one <laughs> and then you can fight the zombie holy water i have read that our ancestors used to put it on their weapons for fighting undead as it is imbued with arcane energy the greatest bane of those unnatural creatures of course it could be used against our people as well but it is fortunate that undead horrors are not capable of bearing its power that is probably why they hid it in this secret chamber do you want this unit to pick up this item? Hell yeah, I do. And this only works for the current scenario. And now, because these guys are very weak, you can actually go back and attack from the other side. Okay, well, no one even cares when Gallus takes 14 damage these days. Um... You come down here and kill this zombie. <laughs> oh, you jammy zombie. Urgh. Okay. Everyone else, advance, advance. Oh, we've got another bat that hopefully our friend with the little bow might be able to deal with. Yes! Your first experience points, Vermeer. Now don't get killed. You run forward, because, again, I don't care if you die particularly, but you can slow down this soulless, and then we can see what else is in wait. There's another keep here. That seems to suggest that there might be some nastier threat on the way. Hmm, okay, how to take out this guy without losing my marksman. Yeah, it's probably best you just come up here and do some slowing. Now the marksman can go onto the island. Still no level for you. You're not quite... You, you didn't quite wake up on the right side of bed this morning, did you? So who should I give the kill to? This fighter, this archer... No, not you. You're too slow. Not you. You don't have any experience at all. Um, okay, let's... We might have another... You know, we might have another fighter if we can... It's only 8 experience points anyway. Alright, you go, get yourself healed. You can run out. You can run down. You're healed up enough. You can as well. And so can you. That one hit point's not going to make the world of difference. Ooh, I'm a bit snuffly today. I think it's the hay fever. Sorry, everyone. rescue Orifebrus the Elven Hunter if I can I'd have to kill this ghoul some more holy water this one is for Quosor remember this is the guy who helped us out in the very first game um, he's gonna have it yes now you're probably gonna be so slow now that you won't catch up with the rest of the troops until the end of the scenario but let's see is there anything else in this cave? It looks like there isn't. It looks like this is all deep water on this side, so everyone else can just run around. And Galas, you go first, because, well, I need you more. No, no, you actually, you're, you're faster still. You're not, you're not faster, but you're, I don't know, I don't know how this works. Anywho. Um... 
Okay, probably you won't get the kill, but that doesn't matter, because if you don't, then the marksman can. Unless you do that badly. Maybe the marksman can still get the kill. Yes, alright, so now we have a sharpshooter. Well, these guys are absolute beasts. Pity we're fighting so many undead at the moment, because they're not so useful there, but... Uh, when we get out against the usual orcs and chaos troopers, then we will be fine. Everyone else, are you all too slow? Are you all too slow to get in there? Yeah, you are, aren't you? Okay. Will you run forward along the path? I guess I'm just going to have to take some hits from the Solus, unless I sacrifice Orifebras. Or maybe I don't even have to. Maybe I can take the Solus out, and then this fighter can do the damage. Okay. No, this is not looking good. Well, is it even worth it? Is it even worth losing two units, potentially, if there's a bat back there? Oh well. Doesn't matter if either of these units die. Um, I'll just save some money, so we'll try it. Uh, not quite. Okay, well, anything could happen next turn. You run forward. You run forward. Who else needs healing? You go there. You go there. You go there. You go there, and then you can stay where you are. Maybe head down this little passageway a little bit, see what happens. It does look like there's a path off to the side there. Maybe that's got some relevant stuff in it. I'm usually pretty good at exploring these levels, but I do miss things. <coughs> yeah. Oh no! I forgot about that. They create more zombies. Oh well, these zombies will not pose too much of an obstacle. You move up there and try and get the kill. Yeah. And then this zombie will have to be dealt with. The druid can have some fun with that. Um, the druid might even be able to take it out on her own, but I should probably weaken it up a bit first. So I'll try and slow it and fail. Okay, druid. Oh, everyone's letting me down today. Okay, who's going to get the kill then? Can Linda get in there? No, she can't. Yeah, alright. You. That's only four experience. Yeah, no, you. Fantastic. Okay, so now we can explore this area. Um, should I send someone a bit tankier than my civilian down here? Um, Leonard, the elvish fighter, you go. Tell me what you can bring back. And everyone here... What's the quickest way for you? Just run. Oh, a skeleton's come from up there. I didn't see you. Where do you spring from? All right, need to block you with a with a hero, and now the skeleton will be in the water, and it will do some damage, but it will also take some hits in return. The Undead Lord, or whoever we're dealing with here, I have no idea. Um, maybe up at the top. Okay, so now you go there. Do I want you to go out in front um, just a little bit? Oh, okay, um, that's a revenant. They're scary. Um, run away! Okay, so no one should be able to attack the sharpshooter next turn, that's good. You move up and get some health. 
you come over here ready to help deal with this skellington and you uh, you can keep keep exploring but go down there not yet Do you heal? Oh, you're a mystic now! Oh, you can do healing, yes! Alright, we've got uh, not only two heals. Beautiful. Now you, can you get to the revenant? No, not quite. Uh, revenants need to be slowed, such is the way. Um, if someone's going to tank hits from a ghoul and a revenant, they need to be very tanky, so maybe... You. Only one of them can get in on you. you bring the druid up behind, and then you can come and explore this way. Doesn't look like there's anything through here. We're probably not down here either. Yeah, no, that's a dead end as well, isn't it? If I had some sort of flying elf, like a an elvish shidey, maybe they could go there and check it out, but I don't. Okay, you go over here and then you'll get some health. Stay where you are. This square and this square are safe, so if you dare, just don't do that. Oh no, I can't. Let's see if maybe you could get to that house over there. Well, that's off the table. You stay where you are, because you are injured. You go over here. Uh, you also stay where you are. Both of you stay where you are. And then... Oh yes, don't want to forget these guys. Get you a bit more health. Go around the long way. It's just standing there. That worries me somewhat. Is it a guard? Okay, well we can get the... Um, oh no, you can't make it. You're not fast enough. Alright. You do it. You do the, the shooty thing. This is where we need a marksman. You do the shooty thing. Try and do the shooty thing. Are you, are you... you're resilient and strong. Okay. You're dexterous and strong. You would do four damage. You would also do four damage. Okay. And I think now I can finish this off. Oh no, I can't. That was a mistake. That was a big mistake. Now this guy's alive and he's probably going to poison my Avenger. Um. Whew, very glad that worked. Um, so, you come up here, you come back up here. You come up here. You come round here. You come round here. This ghoul can just follow us aimlessly around for a while. Um, you go there, and actually you stay. And then you can do some healing where you are. You, I think it's wise. 
I'm going to bring you up front so because you can do some damage in the future. You be the one to capture the house. Right, there we go. Uh. <laughs> Okay, so, <laughs> this elven trapper, on the one hand, <laughs> on the plus side, <laughs> this is someone who can heal their full hit points simply by attacking this revenant now for no cost and go up a level. On the minus side, probably not going to hit, not going to do much damage. Um, yeah, difficult to know what to do in this situation. Um, the person who can do the most damage to the Revenant is Anlinde. The person who can otherwise do the most damage to the Revenant is probably Detea the Trapper, which means that I should try and take out the Ghoul with the Marksman. Nah, didn't work. Oh well, now you... You can't take out anyone, so your best bet, if you don't run away, your best bet is just to stand there. I think your best bet actually is to get the level and to slow this revenant. All right, now we have a prowler on the prowl. You can go up here. And that's just a dead end. And then you, I think, now should come to somewhere where you can actually be of some assistance. like there, you go around there so you'll get the healing as well, yes you come up here, you go there you want healing too you can stay where you are uh, you've you've just blocked Galas, but Galas is fine and you two are bringing up the rear, I think I've got no one left behind, that's right okay <coughs> Ah, that's nice. Okay. So you can step back for the moment. You go in there and take out this ghoul. <laughs> now the revenant's on a house, which makes it a bit better at defending itself. You hopefully can get at least one hit in there and someone else can get the finisher. Nope. All right, can you get in there? Now, if you get in there and you don't... Oh, no, no, you won't You won't be able to kill her in one go. Okay, well, that's good. So... We'll leave that as it is, and I guess you'll just have to take some hits next turn. That was very unfortunate. You open this gate. Or maybe you... Yeah, no, you open this gate. Two walls move. Where was the other one? Can anyone see another wall that's moved? I can't. Looks like down there... There was a wall. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, I can see. Bats can come through. I think that's what, that, what that's for. Right. You come up. You just keep going. Where did the other wall move? Oh, that's going to annoy me now. Oh, there's a bat. There's a nasty, stinking bat. And it's one of the moderately powerful ones as well. Everyone with me? Good. Everyone's on one screen. That's nice. Okay, lay the absolute beat down on my druid, why don't you? Very frustrating. <clears throat> right, retreat, retreat. You do not want to get yourself killed. And, and Lindy, you step in instead. Three. 
three big hits, and the Revenant goes down. Now you actually now can go and sit on that house. You come out here. Yep, no one else around, so you can slow this skeleton. Oh, there is someone else around, but not fast. And then... Galas now has arcane damage on his sword, so I'm kind of eager to see what that will do. <laughs> well, pride before a fall, as they say. You can get some healing from Anne Linde. You can come up here to be my backup. There's another wall there. Um, can you reach the bat? No, you can't. So I'm going to try and... You just step past, and if the bat doesn't go down to a regular archer, then it will go down to you. But it does. Okay, good. You go on, move the next wall. A road rises from the depths, and a wall moves. Well, I didn't see the road anywhere. And I didn't see the wall move. Ho oh, hum. Okay, everyone keep going. I want to go around here. You can go up there with these guys. Good. You want to press forward a little bit. Now, would it be smarter to slow the necrophage or to get into a defensive position? I mean, I'm going to get poisoned anyway. But I do need to push forward, I can't afford to stay here. Alright, Gallus, you move one. And Linda, you come and kill his skeleton. Still doesn't solve my problem, does it? Okay, no, you go and get into the defensive position. Or maybe not. Should I just retreat again? Hmm. Playing defensively, but then maybe that is the correct play here. You know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna advance. It's only a skeleton and a necrophage. What's the worst that could happen? My new level 3 unit could get killed, that's the worst that could happen. No, neither of you can get past, so everyone else can follow up from behind. And over here, apparently we've got a road, maybe it's over here, and someone who's quick, who's really quick? You're really quick. Um, everyone else is only moderately quick. Okay, you go over there, see what we, oh no, that's actually not very exciting. Okay, back, everyone else, back. Who needs healing? No one. Now one of my most powerful units is stuck at the back. Excellent. Ah. Okay, well the necrophage is pretty beaten up, so I am going to come and kill it with the sharpshooter, hopefully. We go into the into the forest. Forest of mushrooms. Two hits out of five. Not fantastic. You're too slow. You're too slow. You folks are just about fast enough. Now. But are you strong? You are strong, but you're not strong enough. Maybe the best thing is... Yeah, alright. 
And then you can hopefully finish it. You get the slow. And then you come and get the kill. Wish you weren't so slow. Um, wish you were a bit healthier as well. I'm going to keep losing out on health until... You know what, you stand there, you come around here. You two can be best buddies from now on. Thirty turns in, we are halfway through, and still no closer to unraveling the mystery of why undead keep attacking us. I wonder. Oh, there we have a revenant. He's going to come out, isn't he? He's going to come out as soon as. Well. Gallus, you are tanky, so... Ooh, mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're tanky enough for that. Everyone who can, move up behind Gallus ready to give him some support when this... Where's the other hero that's got... What's the other hero doing? Oh, there's the other hero. Okay, yeah. He's the one with the arcane weapon. Have to make... Remem have to remember that there's a difference. And Vermeer? <laughs> Get behind Galas, you. Everyone's rooting for the little guy. You've got to be rooting for the little guy. I'm just cynical. You go up there. There's the hidden road. They're not moving! They're not moving, I need them to get out of the way. Okay, this is going to be a tricky one. I could just run straight in and whack them, but I think that probably isn't advisable. How far can the skeleton? The skeleton can reach there. This skeleton can reach me. So... Oh dear. I've only got 40% defense. And she... You know what? Gallus isn't going to move. Gallus is going to stay where he is, and I'm going to move the shaman up behind. Um, I'll put you there. You down there. You there. You there. You there, where you'll be nice and safe. You there. You there. You can go up here. Ooh, secret passage. No idea what's going to come out of there, but we might as well send some troops up that way. This corridor is pretty blocked anyway. <sighs> They're still not moving! Why are they not moving? Oh, it's annoying me. Okay, well you... Can you slow anyone yet? You're not quite near enough. They're going to come out. They're going to come out as soon as I extend. As soon as I overextend. I'm so paranoid. What happens if you come up here? There's a necrophage. That's not good. Ah, oh, these guys can take care of a lousy... One lousy necrophage. But you just stay. You just stay where you are. Should I just inch forward? <laughs> inch forward and see what happens. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm healing every turn and they get no bonus, so might as well. I'll see what happens when I go onto this mushroom field. 
Then you, Quosor, can go here. They won't particularly want to attack you either. And then you, who are the one without the melee, uh, the special thing, can go there. You go there. You go there. And you come forward a little bit as well. All right. See if anyone moves now. They'll come. They'll come and attack these guys. <gasps> no! <gasps> no! fun. Um, okay, <laughs> this side of the combat is not looking too fantastic. I need to get myself to a defensive position um, so that when this bat comes around I don't get blocked. Now maybe if you go, you can tank the bats. You can actually attack the bat. Let's just try and kill the bat. Will you be, if you do that, will you be in range of the necrophage? No. Okay. Well, let's try it. It's unlikely to work, and I, I really would rather not lose my level 3 unit. Ah, what to do, what to do? Should I just leg it? Should these guys just abandon ship? No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and go for the kill. Hmm. Still... Possible... But unlikely, so I think you need to run away, at least a little bit. And then try and get a slow. Okay, so hopefully we shouldn't all die immediately. You come up here, you stay where you are. Down here, right, the main event. And what I really want is for... Well, I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Um, I really want these guys to have skirmishes so they can get around, but instead, Quosaur is going to get the kill here on this Revenant so that Galas can go and do something else, and then I'll have to rejig. Okay, you can move in. You can you can't quite get there to slow. Can't quite get there either. Um, your best bet then is to come around and slow this skeleton. Maybe even kill it. Or or you could do nothing. That's also an option. You go back, you come and do the kill. <laughs> Um, now we've got one skeleton who can reach this guy. That's okay. I'll put you there. Um, can put you there. And then you. Um, could just open this door. It is tempting. I don't know who else is out here. There might be bats. Yeah, that I think is the safest bet. Can Unlinde next turn? Oh no, she's too slow. She's just too slow. Alright, let's go here and, and hopefully that the skeleton will be lured out of its little hidey hole. Oh, I, I could just go and get that, uh, get that village and hope the skeletons suicide themselves on me. Yeah, why not do that? Maybe that's why <laughs> there's a revenant there. You move up, you move up, you move up, you move up. Oh. Excellent. 
pistol and the bat didn't move, which means that I can actually try and get the kill with this wounded archer. And if that works, they won't quite be at a level, but they won't be too far off either. Now that means you can go around here, shoot the ghost. Oh! Nicely done. You go and shoot this bat. Um, well, you'll need two hits, but maybe. Or none. None. That is also a thing. And now this fighter is looking pretty well on the way to a level. And that means that this... Ah, okay. This necrophage is out of blood. It's, gonna, it's within range. What happens if I move up here? Can I see anyone else? Who is this foul enemy that seeks our death? Have you elves not realized the folly of trifling with the forces that lay in the darkest depths of Erdia? I am Malkashar, and these caverns belong to me now. Leave at once, or meet your doom. Malkashar? That name? I said leave! Listen, Necromancer, we seek no quarrel with you. We have lost our home to a foes of a power possibly greater than yours. Returning is not an option. If you want us gone, you will have to allow us passage through these caves. Gallus, you are not expecting that to work, are you? Ha 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 ha! Greater than mine, you say? My, you are but a little young elf of the forests. I had thought your kind's existence had ended for good after the Golden Age. I am truly amazed. Let us put an end to your aimless wandering, then. At least you shall perish at the hands of a figure of legend, rather than savage orcs or humans of the sands. His banter is truly obnoxious. Anlinde, do you think we may be able to destroy this lich? Incapacitate, perhaps, but if it's the same lich I am thinking of, it might not be within our power to banish him permanently from the physical realm. All right, the final objective is to defeat Mal Keshar. And I actually am gonna take a break here. Um, so thank you very much for listening to me today. And I will come back and complete the second part of this level very soon, I hope. Bye for now. <laughs>